Now let's look at the hadith. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, amongst my ummah, there will be those people who will permit zina. They will permit silk. They will permit alcohol. And they will also permit musical instruments. Subhanallah. Why? Why did the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mention fornication? Does anybody doubt that fornication is haram? No. Does anybody doubt that uh, uh, alcohol is haram? No. Does anybody doubt that silk for men is haram? No. So if all of these things are, hal are haram, why then does the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then mention music as well? The point here is this. He is saying amongst my ummah, a group of people, misguided people, lost people who are following their desires, they will come and they will permit these things. They will come and they will permit these things. Subhanallah. Ibn Masud radiallahu an, this great companion, he said, singing increases the heart in hypocrisy just as water increases the vegetation. <coughs> so just as you see the plant and it grows, Subhanallah, do not cause hypocrisy to grow in your heart the same way. Do not water your heart with hypocrisy, which is singing and music. And Umar, uh, Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, this great tabi'i, he was advising his sons. He was advising his sons. Now, when we as parents, we advise our children, we're going to give them sound advice and the most important advice. Where is Allah? We're going to teach them about Tawheed. We're going to teach them about Sunnah. We're going to warn them against Shirk. So this is an extremely important thing that he says. He said to his sons, Oh my sons, stay away from singing because it excels the heart in hypocrisy the way water causes the grass to grow. Subhanallah. And now, Ikhwani, in the 21st century, we have these so-called intellectuals and they come and they say, yes, music is permitted. Music is allowed, it calms you down, etc. And they call themselves intellectuals. By Allah, they are not intellectuals. Rather, they are the ones whom Allah says, فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضٌ فَزَادَهُمُ اللَّهُ مَرَضًا In their hearts is a disease and Allah has caused their disease to increase. Because they follow their own whims and their desires. And they put the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ to one side. They put the narrations to one side. They put the understanding of the companions to one side. These are a people who have left the way of the believers. And rather they are just going upon this path which is going to lead them to destruction.